Hey guys, this is Awesome John 22 coming at you today with another review. Today we are taking a look at Combiner Wars Voyager Class Motormaster, a figure that I have been really looking forward to showing off to you guys. This guy is the figure that Combiner Wars Optimus Prime was initially designed to be. And what they did is they just heavily remolded that figure to be this or this figure to be that, one way or the other. Either way, this is the original intended design for that mold. And I have looked at Combiner Wars Optimus Prime so many times in so many different videos, combining it to so many different Transformers. I'm not going to worry about bringing it back out, but just looking at this guy, we can see huge differences. He does not have the window chest. He has a completely different design here in his shoulders. He has a completely different design here in his upper arms. His lower arms are also quite different. Um, though it's more in deco than in design his abdomen is different. He, of course, has a boxy head, which yeah, we'll talk more about that in a minute. Um, the only thing that's really the same is the legs, and even those are decoed differently enough that they don't look the same initially. He's just a fantastic looking figure that does a really good job of differentiating himself from his mold mate, which I would be showing off right now, but I have the Repair label stickers on it now, so it doesn't look like it's retail release version anymore, and therefore I don't feel as a good comparison to this figure anymore. But that's beside the point. We do not start these reviews in robot mode. We start looking at the figure properly in vehicle mode. So let's go ahead and get this guy transformed up and take a look at said vehicle mode. And we can see already some very distinct differences. Completely forgot those need to be folded back. Some very distinct differences between this guy and his Optimus Prime counterpart. First of all, completely different mold um, up here above the windshield. The windshields are this nice uh, Decepticon purple. I love it a lot. Uh, these different colored uh, headlights here. Uh, I believe these are different mold molded bits. Um, the sides have these purple stripes on them like so. We have the same issues with missing paint here on the side windows. But it's not nearly as glaring because we don't have the issue of missing paint above and below the windows. So I don't really see the issue with it too much. Um, see this carries back into this, which is all painted, um, I believe. In fact, one of the only issues I have with the figure is that this black paint does chip slightly if you're not careful. So, I mean, be wary of that. No paint on the rims of the wheels, which is slightly disappointing considering the recent trend of silver rims. But overall, I really enjoy the look of this. Even the, the grill is a very different design to Optimus Prime's with little teeny, teeny, tiny topograph Decepticon symbol on there. But yeah, um, I like it a lot. There's not a whole lot to say about it. I mean, otherwise, it's the same vehicle mode that we saw with Combiner Wars Optimus Prime. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and move on. Uh, transformation is, of course, exactly the same. I'll go ahead and show it real quick, but I'm not going to narrate the whole thing, probably, just because I've done it before. The screen, overall, it's really not a very complex transformation anyway. At least get the arms a little wrong. And... That's pretty much it. Just reveal his head the same way as you do Optimus Primes. And there you have him in his robot mode. And he looks really nice. Um, at least I think he does. That seems to be a pretty unpopular opinion, though, amongst trans fans. And again, we'll talk about that in a moment. He does come with a weapon. Well, he comes with two weapons, technically. This uh, splits off. And um, if I don't drop it... Uh, you can peg it together uh, like so for storage in uh, in vehicle mode. And actually, I think this looks kind of cool as a gun. I, I, I don't know. I mean, because this is his gun, and I think it looks stupid. But combine the other, I think it looks pretty neat. Um, otherwise, though, this does have its own post. So what you're supposed to do is plug in this shorter sword as his sword and then give him this as his gun and I just I think this gun looks stupid I think his sword looks too short 
So what I like to do is just leave it in its combined weapon mode, which is its mode for combined mode, which you literally just take it so that um, the pieces seem to be going the right way. You just plug it in and you can see this longer bit sits here and this shorter bit sits here. And then plug it into his hand. And uh, I think it looks pretty, uh, pretty cool. Nice size. It looks... I mean, it's, it's definitely an improbable sword because it's got, like, these gaps and stuff in it, but it's, it's got a cool fantasy weapon design, sci-fi-esque fantasy weapon design, which is all you can really ask for from your sci-fi-esque characters. In terms of articulation on this guy, taking his weapon away for a, moment, for a moment, it's the same thing as on Optimus Prime. Obviously, you have um, all the right joints in all the right places plus some cheater transformation joints. Uh, nice ratchets pretty much everywhere that they can afford to put them. And uh, his head is on a ball joint, which affords it, a, or it's either a ball joint, yeah, it's a ball joint, uh, which affords it a pretty nice range of motion considering its design. Which I guess it's finally time to talk about its design. It has the box head that uh, Motor Master was known for, but the face just doesn't look like Motormaster at all. And so that bothers some people. I mean, but I still think it's, it feels enough like a Motormaster face sculpt, despite the fact that it doesn't resemble a G1 character, that it still passes for one. I mean, I don't mind it. I think it looks perfectly fine. But, I mean, it, this is the case in this mode, and it's the case for the Minosaur head sculpt. It just doesn't... It doesn't resemble Menasaur from the G1 cartoon. It, this one, though, more than the Motormaster head sculpt, still screams Menasaur to me. So, despite the fact that it isn't the same at all, I still really like this head sculpt. But I can certainly see why other people don't. But, guys, that's already it for this review. We already know the size, the limitation the quirks of this figure from taking a look at Combiner Wars Optimus Prime so I'm gonna skip most of that and just jump right to the end get this over short and sweet and move on to other things um, next week of course because we've already done our two reviews for the week but yeah good looking figure I like it a lot um, I at the same time understand the issues people have with it and there is a fantastic third-party Motormaster being sold online right now, which is much closer to the G1 look and is fully compatible with the other Stonicons. So if you really need the G1 aesthetic for this guy, if you really can't deal with this reimagined aesthetic, go for that. I mean, that's perfectly fine. That's, that's your decision. For, I, for one, though, have absolutely no issue with this figure and am proud to recommend him. Please help me out. Like and subscribe and leave a comment down below if you feel so inclined. In the description down below you'll find links to all the other things I'm working on, including a link to my new and improved collections video. Check that out and if you see anything in it you'd like me to review, let me know and I will see what I can do. This has been Awesome John 22 and I will talk to you guys later.